Hello and welcome to Virtual Heroid 2021, uh, which is not what I really wanted to be saying at the end of Virtual Heroid 2020, but these things happen, obviously, uh, with the continuing pandemic. It wasn't possible to put a real show on this year, so we have done our best to bring you some entertaining video war games content uh, from the club and hopefully from further afield. Now, obviously, we kind of get that, that people are burnt out at the sight of a video camera. I mean, it's been 18 months of Zoom and other things, and so it's been a bit tougher to get content this year, but hopefully we've got some stuff that will keep you entertained over the course of the next few hours. Um, the club has been on its usual mad bout of trying to stretch Pikeman's Lament beyond what Dan Mersey and Osprey designed it for, uh, with the view to a recreation of a fictitious battle near Erith, uh, which is local to us. If you saw on the news a few months ago when the weather was horrible uh, and the fens were flooding, um, Erith Fort is still visible and as a set of earthworks, and once it floods it's very, very clear where it used to be. So hopefully you will enjoy that. There's a bunch of other stuff. Uh, we have a interesting interview with Major General James Cowan of the Waterloo Uncovered project concerning their new uh, Waterloo model, which is an absolutely mad project that we are rather enjoying being a part of. So other than that, not a lot else to say, really. Uh, we'd like to dedicate this show to two people who passed away this year. One is a long-standing member of our club, Carlo Antonelli, who, who lost his fight with cancer not so long ago. And the other, obviously, is a supporter of the first ever Heroid and my co-presenter on Neil Shock's Meeple and Miniatures podcast for really quite a while, uh, the amazing Mike Hobbs, who we lost earlier in the year and is very much missed. So, um, enjoy the show. <laughs> 